My father uh, was a lawyer, but he was an amateur philosopher. So there was a lot of talk of philosophy in our house. And my mother was a poet. And both of my parents were very interested in art. And when we went to Italy from Innsbruck, which is not very far, they took us, my brother and me, to all the museums in Italy. And, and so we saw uh, not only Leonardo da Vinci, but also Botticelli and Giotto and all the great Italian Italian painters before we were 10 years old. So I think that's my background and so subconsciously I had sort of this link with the Renaissance. You know, having spent 10 years reading Leonardo's notebook, uh, I'm reminded of him all the time and, and it has become sort of a joke in my family when I say, you know, guess what I say, guess who invented that Leonardo, of course it's always Leonardo. I realized that to really understand him, you cannot just focus on the science. You also have to include the design, you have to include uh, the paintings, the drawings, and in fact, you have to include the whole Renaissance. So I was really taking a break from my scientific work, and not from my teaching, but from my scientific work, Delving into the Renaissance and living in the Renaissance for five years or so, and it was a great joy.